the unlimited programs had quite a quite an impact on our work. It, it, it's allowed us, I guess, to, to live out our dreams in a way. I mean, the point of unlimited was for uh, deaf and disabled companies to work with a variety of artists, and the unlimited uh, funding has allowed me to, to to make this show. Try not to dally. Time is of the essence. The unlimited program has uh, has taken my work to high-profile venues that it might not have. Um, got to otherwise. The inspiration for, the, for this particular work, which is The Ugly Spirit, I have created um, new artworks um, which I wouldn't ne have necessarily made um, because of the, of the crossover in, uh, in art forms really. I've kind of developed work in, in, in live art performance. My work is always something that I've always wanted to do. I live, eat and breathe what I do. People um, benefit from many things from coming to one of my, one of my workshops and that, that, might be, um, that might be confidence just in, in, in coming to play with, with new mediums, with old mediums that they haven't played with for, for a very long time, to, to be accepted for who they are and what they are. I'd always been particularly interested in Chang and Eng Bunker who were the original uh, Siamese twins. They were slaves in Siam and they were bought by um, Barnum Circus. They were taken over to America, they became massive stars. That was kind of the inspiration for, um, it was the root of this show. I'm not saying that's where the show ended up, but it was the start of this show. The Ugly Spirit, um, it, it, it came from um, a, a, a writer, a gay writer, and he described his queerness inside himself as his ugly spirit. And it kind of made us think about the, um, the ugly spirit, I suppose, that perhaps lies within us all. It's either bits of us that we don't like or don't want to be there. Uh, and then I think uh, when Russell started looking at the concept of twins uh, generally worldwide, he was particularly struck by the use of twins in, the, in Nazi Germany. There was lots of experiments conducted by twins, uh, mainly Jewish twins, in the concentration camps. There's lots of little bits and pieces to it then. Uh, I think one's allowed to create their own narrative or their own meaning or feeling behind the ugly spirit or what that might be for somebody. You know, the whole idea of being processed, the whole idea of being selected, um, the whole idea that there's this sort of inevitability where you're not going to come back, you know. It's all about revealing, you, have, you know what I mean, and, and peeling back and showing more and giving more. Uh, and, and for the whole experience to get deeper and deeper and, and I find it very intense. Uh, much of the characters we look at backstage are kind of objects, or they're specimens if you will, uh, which is, evokes the freak show again. And in this case it's Lady Schwarzkopf. I feel like crying now to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I do. I find it very. Um, yeah, I do. I find it very emotional. For me, you know, the ambition is to sort of infect people's dreams in a way, to make them think and, and, and have an impact.